I'm not as young as I look. I've been around quite a while and I've had a privileged career and one of the privileges being being supported by the Brain and Behavior Research Foundation and giving my research an important boost which I would not have been able to carry out if it wasn't for this generous support. The way you help people is through science. I started off interested in learning a memory because I wanted to be a psychoanalyst and I thought memory was the key question. And I began by working on the hippocampus, an area involved in memory storage. But this was, you know, 1957, 58. It was really very early in studying the cell biology of the hippocampus. And although I made a fair amount of progress with it and it got a fair amount of attention, I wasn't learning much about memory. I realized when I had to take a reductionist approach and I began to explore memory in a very simple animal, a marine snail aplysia. I needed support and NOSAD, now called Brain Behavior Research Foundation, was critical in doing that. American science would not be what it is without public philanthropy. It's been an extraordinary source of moral and financial support uh, for the psychiatric community. We're at such an early stage in really understanding psychiatric disorders because we don't really understand what's going on. So I think there's a lot of promise ahead. But even more important, I feel very privileged to initially be supported by NOSAD and now actually to participate as a member of the council in the activities of the Brain and Behavior Foundation. I think it's done an enormous amount for American psychiatry Brain and Behavior Research Foundation. I'm all for it.